Hey, this is Manny Trump of Mix and Master My Song uh, Today, I want to go over the reverb technique that was used on uh, Drake's vocals on Marvin's Room. Um, I was mixing a song for artist Cam Meekins, and I, I really like the reverb sound they got on on Marvin's Room. And I wanted to try it on his mix. Uh, it didn't end up working out, but it was cool, kind of messing with it. And I thought, you know, some of you guys might want to learn how to do this. Um, and try it on some of your tracks. So let's just play a little bit of Marvin's Room so you can hear what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you how we kind of achieved it on Cam's track. I've been drinking so much, and I'ma call it anyway and say, fuck that nigga that you love. So you hear it, it's what it is, it's a delayed reverb, and you, you hear it kind of after his verse, like you'll hear the rap, and then there'll like be this like wavy reverb in the background that's delaying the word he just said. Like, it's just in my old phone. so you hear it, it kind of washes underneath it. So it's a pretty cool effect. Um, and I thought, you know, it might be cool to go over it. So there's a couple ways to do it, and I tried it two different ways. <clears throat> um, let me just play this the cam track now. Faded way too long, girl. Girl, girl, I've been faded way too long. So one way I did it was with a, 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 a delay going to a reverb. So I'll play that one. Faded way too long, girl. Girl, girl, I've been faded way too long. So that's that way. And then the other way you can do it is uh, setting up just the reverb and using the pre-delay and the reverb. So Faded way too long, girl. Girl, girl, I've been faded way too long. So there's, there's, you know, the, they can sound good for certain situations. I kind of liked the reverb one, um, but the problem is with with the the reverb one is the pre delay on most reverbs only go up to like 300 milliseconds at most. So you can only do it so fast. So you'll notice the 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 hall, which is the reverb um, pre delayed effect as opposed to just the digital delay into a reverb you hear it faded way too long girl it's way faster where this is a, a quarter note delay faded way too long girl 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 i've been faded way too long so anyway let's hear it with the track faded way too long girl 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 i've been faded way too long Turn it up just so you can hear it. And here's the hall one, just the reverb. Faded way too long, girl. Girl, girl, I've been faded way too long. So the hall you don't hear as much because it's a lot quicker. Um, the delay is more like the, the one they use in Drake's where they actually did send it to a delay than a reverb. So let me just show you kind of how to do this now. Um, the hall one was going to appear where my hall, and it was going just to uh, the... Pro Tools Digiverb. The reason I actually use this is because it has one of the longer pre-delay setups um, on, as, on all the different you know reverbs. This one and our verb, the two ones I own. But <clears throat> the pre-delays, I had it set to 258. So if you go to Music Math, which is a, a good program for calculating delays, our tempo is 116. And so... 258 that's about um an eighth note so that gives us the eighth note delay with the pre-delay i can't go up much further than that because the next one is the quarter note which we used on the delay which is uh 517 milliseconds and you know the the, the most this does is 300 milliseconds so if you're going to do the effect with the pre-delay there's only certain you can only go up to about an eighth note or you know or less um so that's that then the other one was the quarter note delay so we had just a regular quarter note delay, or actually this is a half note. I switched it to a half note. Sorry about that. And then it goes into a reverb unit. So let's mess with that a little bit. Let's just set up both of these. There's that one, and there's our delay. And let's go back down to our vocals so we can play with it. Um, Faded way too long, girl, girl. So that's with a half note. Faded way too long, girl, girl. Girl, I've been faded way too long. Faded way too long, girl. So that's pretty cool. Let's faded hear that. way too long, girl. Girl, girl, I've been faded way too long. So there's that. And then you can do the half note, which I think they used a half note on Drake's. Faded way too long, girl. Girl, girl, I've been faded way too long. 
So that one, it holds out even more. And then you can mess with this a ton. I mean, you could spend the rest of your day just working on this one vocal. Um, then you can mess with your reverb. Do you want it to be really echoey? Like, let's, like, let's try to take the time down here. Girl, I've been faded way too long. Girl, I've been faded way too long. Or you go really extreme with it. Girl, I've been faded way too long. Faded way too long, girl, girl. I've been faded way too long, girl. So it's pretty cool. It's a it's a cool effect to try out on you know especially slow tracks. I think it sounds pretty cool on, and you know just dreamy things. You got to be careful though. It's, it's kind of like the problem on this mix. What we ended up had doing is taking it off because we had other instruments uh, like the pad that was really reverbing and delayed out, and so it kind of was too much for the overall mix. So we we kind of tamed it all down and just went like with a light reverb and a little bit of delay. But I thought it was a cool effect to check out. So if you got any questions, uh, please hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up. And make sure to share and like the video if, uh, if you're liking what you're learning. Thanks.